Hey YouTube, it's GV Loan Guy. It is May 20th, and I just received a video from one of my friends and subscribers, Pretty Disaster One. She sent me this video, and it's going to piss you off. Well, I'm sure it will, because it pissed me off, and therefore I had to share it with you. So here you go. Okay, let's see how this works. In fact, I'm here to tick you off. I was over in Europe for a two and a half week vacation. We rented a Volkswagen station wagon. I don't know if it was a Golf or a Passat, but it was a station wagon. We had four people, and none of them small. Packed with luggage, drove it for 2,100 miles, and we kept. We were amazed at what the uh, the mileage was on it. When we got through, it worked out to 52 miles a gallon. I could not believe this. So when talking to the dealer over there, they said, yeah, the car on highway with a normal load hits 72 miles a gallon. After talking to another person over there, I found out that the current Ford model they were selling over there in a diesel was getting 70.1 70, 70 or 71 miles a gallon. So when I come back to the U.S., I call the local Volkswagen dealer. They said, yes, we have a Volkswagen TDI Passat. What's well, the mileage? 44 miles a gallon. Well, no, I want the 1.6 Blue Motion TDI. Oh, oh, well, you can't get that in that model here. Well, why not? The U.S. government won't allow it. Now, I thought this was BS, so what I did is I started doing some research. Now, when you go online, if you go to Volkswagen America, check out the mileage, you'll see what they offer. Then, go back and make sure you type in Volkswagen of UK and go to their specs and their, uh, let me see here, engine and performances and you will see that the Blue Motion 1.6 TDI is 78.5 miles per gallon highway, 54 miles per gallon city with an average of 69 miles per gallon. So, I've called a couple of news places, I, you know, people should be pissed off about this because the current administration is telling everybody, we're going to demand that Detroit come and have better fuel efficiency. We know they can come up with it. Well, of course they can come up with it. After talking to my local dealer again today, he said, yes, we're very familiar with the motor. We can't sell it here. And I said, well, why can't they bring the motor in? He goes, look, it's worse than that. He goes, Volkswagens are made here in the U.S. that are used here in the U.S., most of them. He goes, we actually, at the factory, install that motor and manufacture that motor that you're talking about. But we're not allowed to even sell it here. We have to ship it to South America and other countries. He goes, also, Ford makes cars here that are up in the 70 miles per gallon, but they're not allowed to sell in the U.S. And I asked him why, and he said, well, originally they said it was a, because they were too pollutant. They didn't have the efficiency. They put out approximately 10% more pollutants per gallon of fuel. And I quickly caught on, and he goes, yeah, you understand. When you work it out, though, it gets twice as good fuel efficiency, so it's actually less pollutant. But we don't base ours on the mileage, pollutants per mileage. We base it on pollutants per gallon of fuel. So when that was brought back to their attention, the administration said, current administration said, it's because of economic reasons. Well, if you sit down and you think about it, you can figure out the economic reasons. And this is what it is. If you've ever looked, our roads are repaired by a tax, and only by that tax. Very little, unless it's subsidized by the federal government, is paid for any other way. So it's paid for through a gasoline tax. Now imagine if the vehicles were twice as fuel efficient, they would have half as much gasoline tax for the roadways. That's part of what some people bitched about back in the 80s when the, uh, I think it was GM came out with the uh, little electric car they had. It worked out so good, and then the GM recalled them all back because they were leases and destroyed them all. Even the one they put into the Smithsonian, they didn't allow the motor in there and the battery system. So what it was is they quickly figured out, wow, if we have a bunch of those, we're going to get no income from gasoline tax or very, it'll start dropping dramatically. Now, Toyota for a long time had a plug-in hybrid. They wouldn't allow it in the U.S. They would only, or a plug-in electric. They would only allow the plug-in hybrid, okay, which was terrible. You know, it's all right. You're still only averaging 60 at the best. Well, they had a full plug-in one over there. It worked great, but they won't allow it in the U.S. You can't even import these without going through hell. 
So this is something that pisses me off. You know, it all comes down to they're pretending like they're upset that the Detroit can't do something better, but here they are, both Ford, Volkswagen, and probably numerous others are producing better stuff, but they won't allow the U.S. population to have this because they got a tax issue. So if you're pissed about it, call somebody like I did. This is Brian. Have a nice day. Turn this thing off.